Hello! So it's been quite a long time since I've done a video. As you can see I have a new background, this is my new bedroom, I've had it redone and this is where I'll be filming all my videos from now on. I'm going to go through what I've been reading this August. I've read quite a bit this month which is surprising but I've been going to work a lot and I go to work on the train so I get a chance to read a lot of books on the train which means I've got a lot to show you this month. So first of all is a non-fiction. It's more of a business type book and it's called How to Start a Creative Business, The Jargon Free Guide. So this is by Doug Richard who was a guy who was on the Dragon's Den I believe, was one of the dragons and he's created this book to help people who don't have business or mathematical scientific minds start a business so it's really colourful it's got lots of illustrations in and tasks and guides to do it's very hands-on very creative and I'd highly recommend if you're thinking of starting any type of business or you want to you know learn about how business works I'd highly recommend this book as I've really enjoyed doing it and it works great for me as I'm someone who has to write random drawings and charts and stuff to learn things and this has been really helpful. Next up, I don't know if this is cheating, but it's the Gorilla Perfumes number no. 2 comic. I visited the Gorilla Perfume shop in Islington as I'm pretty obsessed with Lush perfumes as you might or might not know. The Gorilla shop is just perfumes that they've sold in Lush in the past and new volumes of perfumes they've created and to go with these perfumes there's little stories behind each fragrance and this book is a collection of all the stories. It's written as like a graphic novel which is really cool, the illustrations are you know really cool, a lot of thoughts have been put into the stories and how they are portrayed and I just really enjoyed it. Staying Alive is my favourite one and I think the gorilla on the front is really cool. It's a good book if you're a diehard Lush fan and it's free if you buy anything from the shop or if you pop to the shop and I am very much enjoying it. So if you're a Lush fan try and get yourself a copy of this. Now on to a couple of fiction books that I've been reading. The first one is Slaughterhouse 5 by Kurt Vonnegut I think you say his name. My housemate at uni really liked this author and I've always been meaning to pick up some of his work and give it a read and I spotted this one in a charity shop and I had to get it because it was someone's birthday present and they got rid of it so I had to buy it to not leave the thrown away birthday present behind. Slaughterhouse-Five is not like anything I've read before. It's about a guy called Billy who is a soldier who has been abducted by aliens and can time travel. His family don't believe him, he has a lot of troubles and it goes through his story of when he was in World War II and how he coped with being in the war because he's not a typical soldier. What's really interesting about this book is the narrator is pretty unreliable. It starts off as him writing and then it goes into another book. So it's like a book within a book and it's absolutely fascinating, the description is really vivid and you can really picture stuff how characters are built up, really interesting and I've just really enjoyed reading it and I'll definitely read another one of his books Finally, the book that I'm making my way through now and very much enjoying is The Snow Child by a lady whose name I can't pronounce and would probably offend if I tried So The Snow Child is set in Alaska it's about a couple who are older and have moved to Alaska and they live on this farm in the middle of nowhere, the land's really harsh and they're having a bit of a crap time. The lady, Mabel, has always wanted children, they can't have children, they're too old now and they've kind of been left with this void in their life and this crappy farm that they have to look after that they thought would be their hopes and dreams and it's just not. Her husband, Jack, tries really hard to provide for Mabel but it's just not happening. One night there's a massive blizzard and Jack and Mabel decide to go outside and have a snowball fight and build snowmen. The next morning the snow child they've built has disappeared 
And then they suddenly keep seeing this random mysterious little girl appearing in their cottage and their land. And nobody knows who the girl is. So what I really love about this book is it's a fantasy book but it's written in a nice way um, in a sense that it's quite easy to follow. It's not fantasy that is going to lose you along the way. And I really quite like the descriptions of Alaska. It makes it seem really barren and it really echoes the whole feeling of the main characters in the book. The child is really intriguing and written very nicely. She's very separate to the people and I quite enjoy how that's been intertwined into the story. So if you're into something fantasy or you just want a good book to read, definitely pick up The Snow Child. That's everything that I've read this month. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Tell me what you've been reading this month or what you'd recommend me to read. And I will see you soon. Bye!